Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe and notification button. So one of my subscribers asked me to do um, a look with some e.l.f. products. I do have a couple of new e.l.f. products new to me. One is this illuminating palette right here. And then the other is this bronzing palette. So, if I can get it out of the box. And that's what that looks like. So we are going to dive into those things. And I think, I'll just double check. Now that I think about it, I think I have a blush. Oh. little blush drawer is the next thing that's going to get decluttered. I'm pretty sure I do have an elf one. That was crazy. Okay, so we have definitely got to shop our stash today and go through and get rid of a few things because I have way too much. I have so much I can't even see what I have and that's making me crazy because it's getting wasted. All right. So we're going to do the um, illuminating palette, the bronzing palette. I have a, like a liquid, like a gloss. And then I had the Mad for Matte Jewel Pop palette. This is the one with all the bright colors in it. Do a little something with that. And then this is my e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. Um... And I do have this e.l.f. Illuminating Primer Mist. We'll put that on first. We got some stuff. We got some stuff to get this started. I thought I had more, but we got some stuff. All right. We're going to let that dry down on our skin. I used to have some e.l.f. Uh, eyeshadow primer, but I don't anymore. So we're just going to go in with my little rock because I think, what in the world is that? What's going on today? It's not my makeup day. I can tell you that much. This is not going to be my day for makeup. All right. So I don't know if you can tell, but my skin, it only has a few little bumps on it, but it's getting clearer and I will do a skincare update on what I've been using. Um, I was so fortunate to receive a package from um, 
influenced her and uh, a skincare company. Let's just say that. And I'm excited to do a review, review on it, but I don't want to do that until I know that how it works. I'm, I'm not going to review it and say, oh, it's wonderful. And then it doesn't really work worth two craps. Yes, that is the official word for it. Two craps. Mm -mm. <sighs> All right, so I'm just going to go in with a couple of brushes because we are doing, um, this is all mattes, of course. So we'll just try a couple, see how it goes. If I can get this open. <sighs> is clean and we're going to dive in. So we're going to start off by putting this little light shade all over our eyes just to set down that primer a little bit because that's how I like to do it. Set it down, set it down. Quite a bit of kick up with this, but it's not uncommon. <sighs> All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is go into that shade right next to it. It's like a khaki shade, and we're gonna put that as our transition color. Yes, I like that. So, I don't think I've talked to you guys recently about my, my, uh, journey with dieting and keto and all those other things so part of the keto that I did I was being followed by a doctor a special weight loss doctor and um and she part of her program is you see therapists because most eating problems are related to something a little bit deeper than we realize and so I started seeing a therapist like you start out doing group therapy and then if you need it you go into one-on-one -on -one therapy and come to find out I have a lot of issues that I wasn't even I didn't even realize I had so the therapist was like absolutely want you off of any kind of restriction because I just put that, I'm sorry guys, I just put that darker brown in my outer V. And now I'm going to go into this orange right there and I'm going to put that on my lid. Um, so she was like, I don't want you to restrict yourself from anything. Um, you know, that can create problems sometimes with what they consider to be binge eating, which is what I have. Um... Problem is, is that I don't know I do it. I do it at night. It's a whole big crazy thing. So, um, yeah. So, and, and she, the therapist I'm, I'm seeing is fabulous. I mean, like she has, she has uncovered some stuff that I, I had no idea. I mean. I guess I knew it was there, but I had been, I'd been pushing it down, you know, 
probably because I didn't want to feel. I didn't, I didn't want to have these emotions like, you know, it's pretty, um, it's, it's pretty, um, not sure what the quite right word is. It's significant events. Like, nothing, you know, it's not, I was, my parents, I've also, I had awesome, I do have awesome parents. Um, and it was nothing, anything like that, you know, with any, um, issue with my family. It was more about, um, you know, some things I had just kind of gone through that I hadn't dealt with. So, needless to say, we've been talking about these things a lot. A lot. <laughs> I mean, like, like, the last session was just, I had, like, an emotional breakdown. I mean, I was just... Because you feel, I don't want to say guilty, but you're like, why can't I deal with my problems like regular people? You know, like, you guys have heard me say this so many times. Like, we all have shit, right? We all have shit we're going through. Well, how I deal with the shit I'm going through is I eat. Pretty much that's. And that's not uncommon, right? The problem I'm having is that I eat and 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 eat. I mean, like, it's never ending, right? I have no... I have a binging problem. I binge. So anyhow... Is turning out to be probably way more than you wanted to hear. I'm, I'm, I don't have a setting powder, so I'm just gonna go into my Mac um, mineralized finish in medium plus and just set this down a little bit. Also, hopefully it'll darken it up some. So, anyways, so yes, yeah, so um, she doesn't want me restricting myself, but my nature is to restrict myself, like. I eat, I feel guilty about eating, and then I feel guilty and I eat some more. I mean, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. But we're going to deal with it. We're going to get through it. Thank God I have a very supportive family that would do anything in the world for me. You know? They don't judge me. That's fabulous. They don't judge me. And, you know, oh, my skin is starting to peel again. Hello. Anyway, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. And I'm not trying to tell you guys to get you down. I don't, I don't want to get you down. I just I talk to you about stuff. You're important to me, and, and I talk to you about stuff. All right, so this is the the um, bronzing. I think I'm going to go in with this first just to see what it does. My gut tells me it's probably not as pigmented as it looks. Hmm. Not too bad. So, yeah. So, I have been trying to do a Weight Watchers like diet. And they had actually changed the medicine for a while, and that was working, but that is no longer working. Um, so, I have to do something for me. 
and I promised myself I would start today. And I need to, I need to go to the gym. I used to love the gym, but I have got myself so beaten down. I don't even want to go to the gym, which is unheard of for me. Absolutely unheard of. So, yeah, it's been crazy. I don't want to be, I'm not trying to be depressing, but I know you guys have used to seeing me post keto stuff. Um, I'll still post some stuff about what I do, you know, for my weight loss, like recipes and ideas and stuff. It'll just be more from a Weight Watchers perspective. And listen, Weight Watchers works. I've done it before. It works. But you can't do it half-assed. You can't be half-pregnant. You gotta be all in. And I have a great, great group of folks that I work with that are so inspirational to me. Oh, yes, yes, I like that little glow. So that's very helpful. You know, being around people that are doing the same thing you're doing or, you know, understand what you're going through is always helpful. All right, guys. You tired of me depressing you yet? It's not absolutely horrible, is it? All right, we're gonna do something we don't normally do. First of all, let me get these brows done. getting used to my little wonder brow stuff here once you get it on the way you want it on it it's kind of amazing it's kind of amazing because it stays forever Ugh. we're gonna learn how to go across our body So, I need to go get contacts, really, this week. I gotta call the eye doctor. I need an appointment. Okay, so I'm just taking a little bit off the excess. I don't know if that helps or not. Then we're gonna go in, I'm actually gonna do a wing liner. This is a miniature of the Kat Von D tattoo liner, it's in dark brown. I find that I have to I have to draw my wing kind of separately. I don't know. This is, I'm not the best at this. Nor do I always like it, but I felt like today we would do it and see how it goes. right eye. Not too much so it's pretty damn close. And then we'll put some mascara on. I don't have any elf mascara. I have bad girl bang.
we're gonna have to fix our wing liner a little bit because this eye is not as far out as that eye all right guys put a little bit of this um It's more like a lip gloss. I don't know if I like that color with this look. But we are going to we are going to deal with it. I mean, I like this look so much. I don't want to. All right, I'm just gonna go in with a little Becca balm. All right. So this is my little look using <clears throat> primarily um, e.l.f. Cosmetics, once again, the Flawless Foundation, and then the Illuminating Palette and the Bronzing Palette. That's the Bronzing Palette, and this is the Illuminating Palette, and then the mad for matt and the um i think they call it jewel and then we compromise with a couple of products just to kind of round the look out a little bit because i shopped my stash to do this i didn't um go out and buy any more elf products to do it so i hope you guys enjoyed this thank you so much for watching Mwah.